People talk about low inventory all the time and I'm just over it. There's not a low, we don't have low inventory. We have, a, we have low active inventory, but we have active inventory. There's new listings coming on all the time. And I believe in the, in the near future, we're gonna see an uptick in listings. We talked about it earlier. The second week of March is statistically the best week all year to list your home. So if you're a homeowner and you wanna get top dollar for your home, Statistically, you're gonna get more money than any, any other week if you list the second week of March, which, wow. which is right around the corner. And then it, it progressively gets worse for you as it gets closer and closer to the summertime. See, everyone wants to wait till the spring and the summer. It's actually too late because what's happening is you're getting more and more competition. I talked to my concrete, I'm doing a concrete driveway. He came over to my house. I said, what have you been doing right now? He goes, I'm pouring foundations all over the place. Every builder is calling him to pour foundations. Well, those homes are going to hit the market in April and May. So you don't want to be competing against new construction. You don't want to do it because new always beats old. Now, okay, Nick, I get it. I want nuance and I want character. Yes, there's a niche market for that, for sure. But if it's same, same, apples to apples, they're gonna choose new or the bell curve is gonna choose the new home. So you don't wanna compete against new construction. The other thing that's happening is we're gonna have massive inventory come online when the mask mandate is lifted. Mm -hmm. I believe this, I think behaviorally people that have put off putting their home on the market will now put their home on the market. We've seen a massive decline in people downsizing in the marketplace the last two years. They just decided to stay in their home. I mean, 5,000 square foot home, two people in it. They stayed in it until things kind of settle in or whatever, you know, they, they've they been following the guidelines and the mandates and putting their home on the market and moving around and having pe strangers in their home wasn't on top of their priority list. So they put off movement, they put off doing that. Because anytime you have like an emergency situation, you know, you revert back to safety and safety is let's just stay where we are and make it work. You saw more remodeling projects. A lot of people refinanced their homes to cash out to do the remodel projects. Well, guess what? Those people are now going to consider selling their home and that's gonna raise inventory. So if you're a buyer, if you're a homeowner that hasn't bought, sold your home because you couldn't find a home, guess what? You need to be actively looking on our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com because you're gonna see a lot more inventory hitting the marketplace.